Good morning and welcome to this edition of Crosstalk. We're so happy you could join us today and hope that this session uh, will draw you near to the cross of Jesus Christ. Last week we talked about that old rugged cross, that precious cross of Jesus Christ where he died, shed his blood for the remission of our sins so that we would be set free from the penalty of sin and death. Oh, what a wonderful God that we serve. Today, I want to reference a song by Fanny Crosby entitled, Near the Cross. But let me share this scripture from John chapter 19 and verse 17. And he, Jesus, bearing his cross, went out to a place called the place of a skull which is called in Hebrew, Golgotha. That place, that precious place where Jesus gave his life. Fanny Crosby was born in Putnam County, New York in 1820 and was blinded in infancy through a malpractice of a doctor. In 1835, she enrolled in a school for the blind in New York City, staying there 12 years, first as a student and then as a teacher. Her remarkable poetry brought widespread acclaim to the school and she frequently recited her work for visiting dignitaries. In 1850, Fanny, 30, attended a revival meeting in New York's 13th Methodist Church. During these services, she felt something was missing in her life. And on two occasions during the meetings, she prayed with counselors, but without gaining assurance of a personal relationship with God. On November 20th, 1850, as the altar call was given, Fanny went forward and found Christ as her Savior. The congregation was singing an Isaac Watts song, a hymn about the cross, and it went like this. At the cross, at the cross, where I first saw the light, and the burden of my heart rolled away. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. Imagine Fanny hearing those words. It was there by faith I received my sight, and now I am happy all the day. The heart eyes of Fanny were open that day, and she received Jesus Christ into her heart. And at that moment, the cross had such relevance. She became humble at the foot of the cross. This song that she wrote as a result of that experience, entitled Near the Cross, is just a wonderful example of what Christ does in our heart. It comes pouring out through our writing, in her case, her, her poetry and the song Near the Cross. I recall uh, in my younger days, and we haven't sung this particular song in, in quite some time at our church, uh, maybe we should, uh, near the cross, my mom would sit at the organ here at Oak Orchard Assembly of God Church, and she would play that song often in response to an altar call. And we would come forward, and, and I would come forward, and my heart would be touched, and I would see the significance of what Jesus Christ did on the cross. And she would play that. I could still see her now, playing at the organ, near the cross, near the cross. Paul, the apostle, in Galatians, uh, said this in verse 14 of chapter 6, But God forbid that I should glory, save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, that I should boast in anything except the cross of Jesus Christ. In other words, that we should not look at our own goodness or uh, at our, even our, our failures, but that we should boast only in the cross of Jesus Christ. I'd like to ask Diane if she would come and sing with me the first and the last verse of Near the Cross. This song written by Fanny Crosby. <clears throat> Jesus, keep me near the cross. There a precious fountain free to all. A healing stream 
Jesus can bring. And he's offered it to you. He paid the price on the cross of Calvary. The finished work on the cross of Calvary. He gave his life. If you've never accepted Christ as your Savior, why don't you make that decision right now? Why don't you say, Dear God, I'm a sinner. And I need your salvation. I repent from my sin. I turn from my wicked ways, asking you for, to forgive me of my sin and to cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Become the Lord of my life. Direct my path so I, too, understand the deep meaning of what you did on the cross of Calvary. If you said those words, if you accepted Christ, it came from your heart. You've become a child of the King, and you, too, can find rest beyond the river, in this time of turmoil in our world. God bless you and keep you. Amen.